What's up everybody and welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. Me and Griff here at Frank Lorino uh, Disc Golf Course and we're doing a disc review on the MVP Entropy. This is the first time we've actually done a MVP review on the channel. Uh, we actually have two of them. This one right here was sent to us by Infinite Disc. So huge shout out to Infinite Disc for making this review possible. This other one you can see here is from uh, Tyler, a subscriber of ours that runs uh, Barbarian, Bar, can't even talk, the Barbarian Stronghold. Uh, so make sure you check out him on YouTube, Defend the Stronghold. So um, thank you uh, to Tyler and to Infinite Discs for uh, making this review possible. Uh, we have two Neutron Entropies. The numbers on these are 4303. Four, as I said, both of them are neutron plastic. Uh, this green one is a 173, a little bit heavier. And then the uh, purple one, as you can see here, is 169. So uh, we will be doing a giveaway on both of these discs. So what I want you to do to enter that video, or enter that giveaway, <laughs> is stay tuned. Okay. What? You've already entered the video. Uh, you've already entered the video, yeah. Go ahead, keep going. So uh, if you want to enter the giveaway, in this video stay tuned to the end of the video and find out how purple entropy not in, yeah entropy okay it dumped out early okay the other entropy Mm. Yeah, those things are beefy. Mm. Okay. I like that shot. The other entry on a Anheuser. Okay. Purple one on the hyzer. Okay. The green one. Okay. Purple one. Mm. All right. Not bad. And green one. Whoop. Came out a little early. It'll be all right. Got the MVP Entropy here. I'm gonna throw this one flat, see where I can get it out to. Wow. Yep, she's overstable. I'm gonna go with the 169 gram now. Throw it on a little flat release. Very overstable, as you can see. 173 entropy on an Anheuser. Oh my goodness. That's overstable. Right 
All right, I'm gonna throw the 169 entropy now. Shout out Barbarian Stronghold. Defend the stronghold. A little bit of Anheuser here. A lot of Anheuser actually. Okay. So it looks like it'll turn over a little bit, even for low arm players, but she'll fade. All right, the entropy on a hyzer here, so which is pretty much useless for a guy like me, but let's do it anyway. Yeah, she will definitely cut around something. Go with a lighter weight one now. 169, more hyzer. Yeah, she's very stable, both of them. We'll put a little Anheuser ang angle on this uh, entropy because we already see how I throw flicks. Not very good, we know how it flies. And that probably won't make the cut because it Flew straight to the ground, right in front of me. All right, flick on this other entropy here. Put some angle on it. Okay, there we go. Get a little bit more distance that way. All right, as you can see, you can go ahead and be throwing. Okay. We got a local pro, Jamie Villadiez of Team BDGC here, giving the entropy a throw. So it's stable? Yeah. And he just aced a 310 foot hole with it. Oh. That is stable. That's a good, yeah. That's, not, that's a good disc. And another entropy? That's the same, yeah. I'll flex this one instead. He said he's flexing that one. And he did. Oh, that might be right under the basket as well. Oh. Really All right, as you can see, we've got Macy Walker of Team BDGC. Crushing the MVP entropy. All right, we've got Adam Stanton of Team BDGC throwing the uh, MVP entropy. Local professional. Oh, my. All right. All right, he's going to throw. This one's a little bit lighter. He's going to give it a throw. I've not thrown them yet. Oh, my. Look at that flex shot. Here we go. Alex Ferguson, Team BDGC. He's throwing the entropy. No, throw it on Anheuser. Ooh. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. She's stable. <laughs> We've got Eli Ferguson of Team BDGC here. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah, it's pretty stable. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this entropy. This is exactly what this disc is made for. It's to go around stuff, and this is the perfect hole for it for me on a flick. So let's see what I can do. A little Anheuser on it. Flip it around the corner. Go work. Try this other one. A little less Anheuser. Just get it right around the corner. That's exactly what this disc is made for. Yeah. And she'll do it. So I'm going to throw the entropy forehand down there. It'll probably, it'll give me an approach shot, but not much else. Mm. Yeah. Uh. The thing with these though, I can put a little bit more on them. We'll try to put a little bit, a little bit of Anheuser on this. Well, a little bit became a whole lot. I mean, it didn't really get to see what kind of flight it had 
because I hit something. All right. If I mess up this thumber in wide open, then I don't know what to tell myself. <sighs> All right. Griffin went that way, so I'm having to solo this one. This disc, this entropy is perfect for this little upshot for me. See if I can get it down there to the basket. Scoot right up near it. That's exactly what this disc is made for. All right. These are the MVP entropies. Uh, flight numbers are 4303. That's about right. Um, they're your basic flick, short, forehand approach, shot, uh, approach discs. Um, but they're never going to beat out a zone. If anybody bags a zone, you can do more and make it fly further than these. And I think it has the same kind of flight, but I think the rim being overweight kind of makes it dump sooner than it should. Now, if they came out with a uh, like which, what lines, what are the other lines that don't have? Streamline. The streamline disc with the same flight, I think you could do something with it. Stabilizer. Yeah. Um, it's called a stabilizer. <laughs> but yeah, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't make my bag really, unless I was just sponsored by MVP and then they would definitely be in my bag because I would need a shot like that. Uh, but if you just, well, if you just, if you just don't like throwing disc craft and you want a you want a zone shot, kind of like this. But yeah, I don't think I'd bag it. Okay, everybody, uh, here is my honest take on the MVP entropy. So this is a putt and approach uh, four three zero three. Uh, it lives up to those numbers. I can tell you that right now. Uh, a one seventy three and a one sixty nine. And honestly, I uh, didn't really notice the difference. It's just that overstable. Um, I love the feel of the plastic. Most of you that know me know I'm a huge MVP fan. Uh, probably 80, 90% of my bag is MVP. So uh, really love the Neutron plastic. That's what most of my discs are in. Uh, these runs, the newer runs uh, with the flight numbers, uh, obviously the Entropy wasn't out before the flight numbers, but uh, the current run of discs of the new MVP factories, uh, the Neutron feels a little bit softer, which I absolutely love. I love a soft, grippy plastic. and. That's what this is. Uh, the feel of this in my hand, I don't know if you can see that, super flat. Uh, it feels so good in the hand. I held this thing, and uh, honestly, by the feel of it, I absolutely love it. Uh, would I bag it? Probably not. Now, that's not saying anything bad about the disc. It's just too overstable for me. I have a really slow arm speed. I'm an amateur player, play intermediate. Uh, it's just too much for me, honestly. Uh, I can throw. Uh, my NVs with a little bit of hyzer and get them to fade a, lo uh, a lot less than this. Uh, this I would actually have to torque over with a lot of anhyzer to get any distance. Now I know that's what this that's not what this is made for. Uh, the entropy is made for those little shots around like your zone harp kind of disc uh, and it's perfect. It fills that spot. If you're a fan of discs like that uh, then and you want to try out something on the MVP line then the entropy is definitely what you want. So. Uh, very consistent. You can see both of them are just bored flat, almost a little bit concave on that one. So, uh, outstanding disc, very overstable. If you need a, some good chip shots around a tree, flick, great disc. But uh, I personally wouldn't bag it. Just a little too overstable for me personally. All right, everybody, that is it for the MVP Entropy Review. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want to enter to win one of these two discs, uh, all you have to do is go to our Facebook page. There's going to be a post where we share this video. Uh, what you want to do is click like on the post. Make sure you like our Facebook page and comment with a number 1 through 100 on that post. If you are a Patreon supporter and your name's at the first of this video, huge thank you to do you for being a Patreon supporter. As a thank you, you can pick two numbers and double your chances at winning one of these discs. So, once again, huge thank you for the Patreon supporters. 
Uh, if you do not have a Facebook page, you can do the same thing right here in the comments. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe to us right here on YouTube, and uh, comment with the number one through 100. Once again, Patreon supporters, pick new number, two numbers as a thank you. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in, in your, your area. area. <laughs> this guy. Pull up, pull up, pull up, like a winnebago, and I came here with the walls. We came here to play though. This golf, my magos. This golf, my magos. This golf, my magos. This golf, my magos. Oh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. Stay tuned to the end of the video and find out how. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mean, we're feeling the pressure of this light. Yeah, it's been a while. All right. What do I do here? Just turn it on. How do you turn it on? The power? Or? Yeah, is it is it green? I don't see where it would be green. Okay, I pushed the power. Oh wait, no, this turns green. Okay, you're good. I'm good? Yeah. I'm gonna turn mine off while you're throwing. Alright. Griff's gonna throw them back to me here. Whew, running out of breath. So what happens when a large man plays disc golf. I hope this audio works. If not, I'll just do commentary over it and I'll just act like I'm you. Hey, uh, this damn thing's overstable. It ain't no zone. Uh, entropy on the thermometer. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Nope. Is it recording? Yeah, I don't think I got anything. All right. <laughs> One more try. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> hey, hey. I don't know. If you just don't like throwing disc craft and you want a, you want a zone shot, kind of like this. But yeah, I don't think I'd bag it. All right. Then you bag a zone. Yes, I bag a zone. <laughs> Then he would bag it. All right, everybody. That's it for the MVP Entropy Review. Uh, thanks to Griffin for joining me. Uh, why do I say that? You're like the main man on the channel. Uh, uh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.